Hi everybody, it's Lindsay. I'm gonna do a bit of vlogging today. So what the hell do I do all day now that I'm not working? I'll show you a few things that I do. It's funny how we can fill this time. I went from working about 45 hours a week and commuting about seven hours a week to not working. And somehow I managed to never be bored and always find stuff to do. During the week, Monday through Friday, I try to keep a routine and get up at the same time as Jeff. I'm not always perfect about it, but I would say that I at least do it about um, two thirds of the time. And Jeff gets up at 5 a.m. and he goes to run. So I try to get up at the same time as him. And if I don't go with him and at least walk or skate, then I'm at least getting up early. And worst case scenario, I do, I'll sleep in sometimes till 7.30. So today I got up at five. Um, I did not go with Jeff on his workout. Instead, I got his breakfast ready and filled his little thermos and made food for him. Today he got a lazy lunch. I just cooked this pouch of Uncle Ben's rice and a couple potatoes and I mushed it into a thermos for him. He's not picky. And then I watched some of you guys' videos while I folded these towels that were left over from yesterday. And I hung out with Jeff while he kind of works from home for a little bit and watched some more YouTube. I was listening to PJ Harvey videos earlier. And then at 8.15, I leave and I go to the gym and I drive 40 minutes just to go to the gym for an hour because my personal trainer um, is near my old work. And I've been going to my personal trainer for nine years. So I go up there three days a week, even though it's a far drive and it's worth it to me. So I'm filming this right now after returning from working out. So it's already about 10.45 a.m. I haven't eaten anything and I've noticed that a lot of times I'm only eating twice a day now. Sometimes I'll eat a little bit of fruit in the morning. I'm probably not going to eat anything until lunch today. So now that I'm home again, I will be tidying up a little bit. I mean, it's pretty clean, but I'll put these towels away. This is just me sorting through stuff. I've been cleaning out closets. A lot of times I'll leave the dishes from last night, so I'll be finishing up these dishes. We don't have a dishwasher. I might mow the lawn today. It looks like it's starting to get a little tall. All right, I'm heading down to my basement because I'm going to mow the lawn today. And one of the things I've been doing lately is slowly cleaning out my basement. But you're going to see it's still like a huge wreck down here. I don't know how well you can see all this junk because it's not very well lit. But one of my goals is to clean out this basement and think about uh, maybe putting some flooring down here. And I've already, like, every week for the last three weeks, I've been filling up the trash can with old stuff and sending it out. One of the things that has definitely changed since I haven't been working is that I notice everything that is ghetto and that needs to be fixed in my house. And it kind of drives me a little bit crazy because, you know, I have less money coming in. We have a decent amount of money coming in, but not enough to just fix everything that's wrong without dipping into our savings. So like I come down here and I'm like, oh God, got this crack in the foundation. How about this other crack in the foundation? Or that faucet that's rusted shut in the corner. Or this pipe on the ceiling that comes from the bathtub that leaks. You know, fun stuff that comes with owning a house that's 80 years old. I'm gonna go mow and then maybe bore you guys with more not exciting stuff like this. Well, I just finished mowing. If I were a level 20 YouTuber, you would have had footage of that, but 
I'm not setting all that crap up because anyone that's done a YouTube video knows that just getting certain shots, it's extra work. You're not going to get that from me. I'm not that motivated. Just for the record, this mower is great. I hate mowing. But having an electric mower that's cordless is wonderful. Now that I'm finished mowing the lawn, I'm going to take a shower. And I got this cute little shower cap because I've been trying to wash my hair less like every other day because it's all dried out from all the perming and coloring and all that. And I do take a lot of showers because sometimes I work out twice a day. So yep, that's where I'm at right now. Shower time, see you in a few. It's about noon, I'm rocking out to Polly Harvey. PJ Harvey, I love PJ Harvey. And uh, just got out of the shower. I watched Angel's video on her staycation, and now I'm listening to PJ Harvey. And I'm getting ready, gonna put makeup on, do my hair and all that. I normally don't even bother, but I'm gonna go see some friends from work, uh, from my old work, I guess I don't work there anymore. And we're going out to eat at a restaurant and then go see a movie. The question is, is it weird if I bring my own avocado to a restaurant? Because here's the thing, going out to restaurants is not very fun whenever you don't eat animal products at all. Like I can eat at a lot of, you know, Indian restaurants, Japanese restaurants, Thai, that kind of thing. But you go to any American restaurant and your choices are French fries, and an iceberg lettuce salad. I found out that I can't even eat the french fries at this place, they're not vegan. I'm like, really? So I think I'm gonna get a plain baked potato and a plain order of broccoli, and then I'm gonna bring my own avocado and put it on there. Is that weird? It might be weird. But I just, I get so disgusted with these American restaurants. I know that it's slop food and it's meant to be unhealthy, but like the last couple times I went and got a side of vegetables, they just drenched it with oil, like drenched it. It was like, it was not even edible. I just feel like I cook way better than these places. I'm there just to see my friends anyway. So just random thoughts of about that. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some lunch now. All right, so I'm gonna eat this leftover Thai food that I made last night. Then I'll probably clean up the kitchen a bit. I'm just sitting here putting on my makeup and this is the cutest ever. Jupiter always comes and she likes to just cuddle up right on my lap when I'm on the couch here. Isn't she the sweetest? You're the sweetest. You're the sweetest. And there's your little peats. Are these your little peats? She's so cute. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of over having hair. This is like the longest my hair's been, I think, ever. Maybe once when I was like 21. And I just don't have the patience for it. I find it irritating. It's in the way, it takes forever to dry. You gotta do stuff to it. Anyway, that's just me griping. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I'm looking forward to seeing my crew. And when I say my crew, I mean the Turtle Muffin Man crew. All right, we're gonna sit and chat for a minute. I promise one day I'll have good lighting again. My light has not been working and I need to fix it. So, not working. Expectations versus reality. I knew that I wouldn't, logically I knew 
then it wouldn't instantly make me happy. But on some level, I think I believed that I would become happier. And I think probably overall I am. But let me tell you, you bring your crappy brain with you wherever you go. So the anger that I used to have toward customers or employees and just dealing with people is now directed towards ants and home repair. It's still there. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but let me just show you. Because I guarantee you there are ants somewhere in my kitchen. This is the problem with trying to live a non-killing lifestyle. We have tried cinnamon, we have tried special sprays, we've tried a powder around the house. We try to keep things pretty clean, but you leave even a morsel of anything. Like if one of the cats just leaves one single morsel of food, those ants will find a way in. Now lately it's gotten a little better because we found a hole that they were coming in through and we plugged it. And so that's our plan of action right now is just to find any holes. But I'm sure I can find an ant for you very easily somewhere in my house. See? There's one of those little jerks right now. He just went under the thing. They like to come and even just take water. Just water. Nope, there's one right there. There's always one. He's scurrying around trying to find any food that he possibly can. We even have this special cat dish that has a moat in it. That's the only reason there aren't ants on this food right now. And let me tell you about home repair. This light broke. This was my fix for this light. But don't worry, we have a replacement light for that. And yes, being at home, I notice all my little unfinished projects a little bit more. Oh look, and there's a bunch of freaking ants. That's probably part of where they're coming in at. Several years ago, I did this backsplash and I never finished it. The edges aren't done right here. It's not been mortared. You can see this outlet needs to be extended out and covered properly. So I'm going to have to finish that up to make myself feel better. And then Jeff did this shower. Looks nice, doesn't it? He tiled all of it, recreated the wall. The wall was all sunk in. But uh, we didn't finish the edges. So that's another little project. We got new lights put in this bathroom and I didn't paint where the old lights were. So there's old paint there. And you know, in the bedroom, just paint chipping off the walls. <laughs> this is what I do with my time now. I notice all the things that I need to fix. So I've been staying pretty busy, um, mostly with just cleaning at this point. Like I give myself a little project every week, like pretty small so that it's not, you know, I don't need to work that hard. Plus I do have school that I spend about six, six hours a week on. So, uh, <laughs> So yeah, I get myself a little projects every week. Like yesterday, I filed a bunch of papers that have been sitting out for probably a year. And last week or the week before, I organized this whole closet and got rid of several boxes of things. I organized these junk drawers in the kitchen. They were just like overflowing to where you couldn't hardly even close them. Now they're nice and organized. A couple days ago I wiped down the fronts of all my cabinets and I detail cleaned the floor but as you can see the floor is already dirty again. And that's kind of why I have boxes sitting around everywhere. These are my boxes to get rid of stuff in. These are my boxes for sorting. 
Like I got a box for cat stuff, one that has tools and one that has art supplies just so I can properly sort. And then that's my new ceiling light. So yeah, I know this video is kind of all over the place, but that's kind of where, that's just where I'm at. I'm all over the place. So it's been about five weeks since I haven't been working. And sometimes it's hard to not feel, maybe it's just difficult for me. Overall, I really don't miss working and it's been pretty great. But I have kind of looked at jobs here and there and thought about getting a part-time job just because uh, I like, you know, to know that I'm bringing in money. However, I know that Jeff said that he really likes how it's been because he doesn't have to worry about doing laundry or cooking or cleaning or the lawn or any of that stuff. And we used to just have a messy house most of the time and then we tag team cleaning it on the weekends because he's a good husband and Sherry does his you know, we, we split everything pretty much half and half before. So this is overall pretty beneficial for both of us. I was actually like looking into getting this job because it sounded pretty appealing and he's like, ah, you know, he's just like, don't just jump back into something that you are gonna potentially hate in a couple of years. Go ahead and finish your degree. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Might as well finish my degree. It'll open up a few more options. Sometimes though, like I get frustrated by other people's interpretations of things. And of course, uh, you can't expect people to understand your situation, but I guess Jeff gets frustrated by it too, where it's just like people just think that, oh, you... <laughs> I don't want to insult anyone, but it's just like, oh, you know, your husband's so good to let you stay at home. Well, he benefits from this too. like. I'm doing stuff to contribute to the house to make his life easier. Yeah, I'm not contributing financially right now, but I remember what it was like the two months he didn't work about three or four years ago when I was working full time and it was great. I didn't have to do laundry. I just came home. I could just relax. It just makes life easier if you're able to do that. I had made a comment on someone else's YouTube channel that was talking about just capitalism or something and it was talking about how disillusioned they are with just being a cog in the wheel kind of thing. <laughs> something that I think a lot of us can re relate to. And I just commented about how I was so glad to not be working for the first time in 24 years and some dude, some schmo made a comment about how my husband's gonna have to pay for that and how it's a burden on him. And I'm like, dude, you don't know my situation. So I don't know, I just feel like there is a bit of a stigma against people that don't work. And I'm sure I probably had it myself before when I, you know, must be nice to not work especially if you don't have kids or anything like that. And I'm telling you, it is nice and it is easier, but it doesn't mean you're just sitting around doing nothing. It's like this idea that like people just because they're not working, that they're not gonna find things that they value to do. I'm just doing stuff that I find more valu valuable. I find it more valuable to make sure that my family is healthy. I find it more valuable because I can spend about twice as much time exercising. I find it easier to eat well um, because I don't have all the stress from a job. It's more challenging because I do have to be a little bit more aware of my spending because, you know, we have half as much money coming in, so we don't want to just be careless about it. But that's just how it is. You don't really know, know what things are like until you've been there. But I'm telling you, if I didn't have to work again, I could find plenty to do. But I will end up working again. And then one day, Jeff will be retired and we'll be retired together and it'll be nice. 
I'm not sure what time it is. I want to think it's like 2 p.m. or some crap. I should probably do some laundry and empty the litter boxes before I head out to see my friends. And I decided I'm just not going to eat at that restaurant because I'm tired of paying these American food restaurants money to be bad at making vegetables because I cook way better than them. I'm not paying three times as much for destroyed vegetables that they put way too much butter on or something. So I'm going to just, you know, I think I'm just going to get a lemonade while I'm there, hang out with my friends. I'm just mostly going because I want to see my friends. I don't care about the food. What good is it having, you know, a little bit of an alternative lifestyle, you know, being vegan, if you can't make other people uncomfortable with it? Let my discomfort make you uncomfortable too. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Oh my God. This is gonna be a pain to edit. That's another thing. You make more videos, more editing. How terrible is this lighting? I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat at that restaurant. I'm gonna go see Cruella, I think. And Jeff's gonna fend for himself tonight for dinner. There's a bunch of leftovers. He'll be fine. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog anything else for the day. But maybe a little, little peek into what I've been up to. So this is what happens when you leave your house with unfinished laundry. Further proof that I'm a level one YouTuber. Go out and do the fun stuff. Don't bring the camera. Just talk about it when you come home. I ended up eating a bunch of rolls and iceberg lettuce salad. And then I had a bunch of popcorn at the theater. Watched Cruella. It was pretty good. I'm kind of being quiet now because Jeff is sleeping. But it's 8.30 and I'm normally in bed right now. I just got home. And that's pretty much it for the day.